I'm going to tell you something you probably don't know about graph transformations. In year one, you need to know how to apply singular transformations. However, in year two, you need to know how to work with a series. Now, when you're working with more than one, we apply graph transformations in order of bid mass. However, there is one special case, and I'm going to talk you through that now. Let's look at the graph of x squared, for example. This is a U-shaped parabola. And on this, we're going to apply two separate transformations. Let's look at the graph of y equals 2x squared first. So you're multiplying by 2 and it's inside the bracket, which means instead of stretching by scale factor 2, you're stretching by a scale factor of half, and your graph is going to become a lot more narrow. Let's also look at the transformation y equals x minus 4 squared. This is inside the bracket, however, it's an addition or subtraction, which is shifting our graph, and this is taking our graph four units to the right. Now, what happens if we combine these two transformations? Let's say now we want to sketch the graph of 2x minus 4 squared. So I said that graph transformations happen in order of bid mass, but this is that special case. We actually deal with the subtraction, the minus 4 first, then we squash everything by 2. So your graph is going 4 units to the right first, then we are multiplying everything by a half. So this point here is now 2. So we actually apply graph transformations in reverse order of bid mass in this special case. However, every other case, it's in order of bid mass.